Hey minions, my name is Tim Lee. Welcome to Draw Too Much. Uh, I want to get you excited because I'm going to be bringing some content back here to Draw Too Much. Uh, and in saying that, I am re-editing one of my videos that I have for my channel Legacy Studio. And I want to go ahead and pop this in here and say this video was made for Legacy Studio. And since creating it, I decided that we're going to release it to you instead of to my Legacy Studio channel, which is going to focus more on the gaming side of things. So please enjoy this video. Uh, the other episode of this is on Legacy Studio, I'm, uh, and it did very well, so I'm going to leave it over there. Uh, but future videos, future episodes of VR paintings and content that have to do with using art in VR and things like that will be here on the Draw Too Much channel. I hope that you like it. Just, uh, just messing around over here, and I will share videos over here uh, as I have them on more artwork that I might do over uh, within VR and, of course, in general. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys around. Hey there, Minions of Technology. My name is Tim Lee. Welcome to the Legacy Studio. It has been so long since I've done some painting in VR, or been in VR in forever. I'm not going to waste your time. Let's go get started. I, uh made a video a while back where I painted a smiley face we're going back to the underpass and I said hey guys you pick another emoji if this video takes off I'm gonna do another one and you guys did just that so there you go there's the previous one right there done last year and we're nearing the end of this year I am going to attempt now how do I do this it's been a while okay it's been a while my theory is to work on a different face. Let's see here. Today we're gonna try, let's see. I'm sure it comes as no surprise we intend to do something of this nature. This one I think was this, 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 and this. Okay, I think that is the design that someone asked us to do. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, let's go ahead and run over here now. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you don't know who I am, uh, no one does. I uh, used to be a caricature artist at Disney for many, many years. Uh, I truly enjoyed it. And I'm just trying to remember how... There we go. And I now am a YouTuber at dreaming of big things, including things like stand-up comedy and uh, things like uh, being good at YouTube. And I'm getting there, little bit by little bit. I'm getting there. And uh, you know what? When I'm looking at videos and I'm trying to find stuff that's doing well on YouTube, and especially when I look at my own content, I'm like, okay, well, maybe it's time to get back into doing some painting. And I've been playing an awful lot of games recently on my computer, which I've enjoyed very much. But every now and then, you got to change it up. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today. Now, we're going to go with a thin cap. Where's my thin cap? Thin cap. There we go. Uh, and let's go ahead and start with uh, the... No, let's not do that. Let's start with the yellow that we're going to do here. And let's get this design going. Same idea. Taking a 2D shape, 2D emoji, and turning it into a 3D emoji. All right? And I do like drawing characters at a three-quarter angle, so that's one thing I'm going to try and do as well. I'm probably going to sketch this out a little bit first before we get too far into this. So let me just go ahead and make sure that my circle looks fairly reasonable. I'm not going to go quite as big as that one. Uh, I'm just going to do it kind of like right here for now. And let's just do some quick sketching. Uh, I'm going to turn my pressure way down. Because I just kind of want to get a feeling of what I'm going to do here. And I like to exaggerate things, okay? The smiley face is cute. The tongue sticking out is cute. I kind of want to exaggerate it a little bit more and push it a bit more. So let me try something just a tiny bit weirder. Why not? All right? I, I enjoy kind of going a little crazy with some of these designs. So just getting my sketch on and I also wanted to make sure that I at least put down my blue layer so that if I want to erase anything which is absolutely gonna happen instead of having a bare wall I have a color I can pull from and it'll be easy to fix that's my theory anyway okay 
So just just sketching right now, making sure that I'm okay with the concept. Um, I think something like that would be fine. Should we put like a little drop of something, you know, kind of like that? Um, I'm going to go with that, I guess. So I have that basic premise. Let's go ahead and start building it up. Um, it please hit that like button for me because it lets me know you want to see more uh, a lot of people might have subscribed to the channel because of this but this channel is a, a multifaceted channel I do a lot of different content on here I am attempting to show that uh, you can be successful and have one YouTube channel with a bunch of videos on it in time I might separate channels out but not right now I'm just enjoying I'm enjoying putting all my content on here and sharing my whole life with you guys everything that I enjoy doing I want to just keep it all in one place. Look at that. Look at how big a difference that makes, like, right there. Just like that. All right. Now I'm going to try and go a little bit more into the orange here. Not by much. Just enough to kind of add a little bit of texture to the tongue. A little bit more. That might be a bit too much. That's too much. then please, by all means, put your emoji that you want to see me paint next down below. I'm pretty sure this is the emoji. I really hope this is the emoji that that person's like, here, do this one. It's like the one person who voted on it, you know? So if you want to see more, leave your emoji down below. And, you know, there's a ton of different emojis. There's a ton of different characters and things. So the sky's kind of the limit on all this sort of stuff. So don't be afraid to go a little, go a little crazy, okay? Pick a weird emoji, I don't mind. Okay. All the clean emojis. I know there's a couple dirty emojis that we will not be using. But yes. I try to keep my channel family friendly so everyone can enjoy it. And everyone can learn to deface public walls. Which is not the case for the record, okay? Um, but I do love watching artists like Doak and... Uh, Especially Doke. Doke does a really great job with his stuff. Love watching Doke. He's quite inspiring when it comes to this stuff. Um, love that he uses, I guess, what, what would you call legal walls or sort of sorts wherever he lives. Does some great work. There we go. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. I don't like this orange that I got that's around there, but still, that's fine. We're getting somewhere. Um, it's overdone, but I kind of like how overdone it is at the moment. I'm kind of feeling my way through this, and I kind of like it. Um, I'm going to grab a darker yellow here. And I'm just going to kind of... See, I don't like these yellows. Let's see if this thing has any good yellows. This is Pineapple Park, huh? So I'm just going to come in here. And I'm trying to calm down the intensity of the yellow that I have in And by the way, 
if you're like, wow, this guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> I don't. And I, I'm pretty sure that actually shows that I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I am simply having fun. Now, I, I've i been a, a cartoonist and a caricaturist for many years. But when it comes to this kind of stuff and tagging walls and painting, no, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't. But I enjoy it. I enjoy trying, and I believe in, uh, very much in faking it until you make it. I live my life by that fake it till you make it category. One thing I'm going to be doing here in just, uh, um, let's look, look at this from far away. That's cool looking. I like that. I like that a lot. That's kind of cute. It's kind of Kirby-esque, isn't it? Whoa. Hello. Okay. That might have been just a dot too close. <laughs> um... Excuse me while I pick my nose. Um, one thing that I'm going to be doing here very soon is I'm going to be doing stand-up comedy. I have registered to be in a contest. And I've wanted to do this my whole life. And I always thought, you know what? I got YouTube. I'll, I'll make everyone laugh on YouTube. And there's no greater compliment that I have ever gotten on YouTube than, oh, that was so funny that made me laugh. You know? And... I'm studying books on comedy now. I'm doing all this crazy stuff to try and really understand how comedy works. And uh, I'm learning that I really don't have any clue about what I'm doing. You know, and that's where, once again, I come back to that same philosophy. So, philosophy. Did you hear that? Philo philosophy? Philosophy. <laughs> that's where I come back to the same philosophy of fake it until you make it. Because I don't have a choice. If I want to succeed in comedy, you learn the best you can from books. And then you go and you try it. And you fail. You get up and you try again. And you fail and you get up and you try again. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. I believe very firmly in faking it till you make it. And I am very excited in doing that. And that's what you should be doing too. In your life, don't miss out on the opportunities to do stuff. If you think you can safely do something without hurting someone and make a difference in your life with it, be honest and say, I'm, I, I've never tried, but I'm willing to if you're willing to give me the chance. And uh, that's all you can do. And that is all that I can do. But the journey is so exciting. Why wouldn't you try it? So, November 12th will be my first time trying official stand-up in competition chance to win some prize money i'm not gonna win i would i if i win if i win which i will not but if i win that will absolutely change the game of how i will live my future uh i will i will continue the goal of being a stand-up comedian and i will take it far more seriously than i've ever taken it before in my life um yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting road. But yes, fake it till you make it. Please. Do not waste your life sitting around and not experiencing the wonderful opportunities that God puts in front of us to be what we want, be who we want to be, uh, as long as it's within his plan for us, and to succeed in our passions. And uh, I, I, I want that. I want that in my life. I definitely want that in my life so we're gonna i'm going for it okay this might be a bit too strong but cool that stinks but yes i'm just gonna go ahead and cheat and sample this color here and i'm just gonna paint this in here what if i put a bit more shadow in there Maybe I should do crazier eyes. I think I should go a little crazier on the eyes. Like maybe something a bit more, like really big, and then something really tiny. Yeah! Yeah, that feels right. That feels very right. Okay, we're going that way. Um, I love the purple that I did. I do not like how it looks over here. Um, that's supposed to be shadow building off the tongue. I think it's a bit too intense, so what I will do is sample that wall and very carefully just put a couple specks of orange over top. 
so it dulls the shadow for a little bit there. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, try and very carefully knock it in and kind of gain re-control of this just a little bit. All right. <laughs> yeah, I want those eyes. That's going to be cool. Uh, but we save those for last. Um, let's go ahead now and... Just trying to build up these shapes so we can really build up the shadow a bunch more. I want it to be a bit intense. I want the cheeks to really... Those cheeks are pushing out pretty far, but I want these to kind of push out even further. You know, really kind of pushing the envelope. So I'm going to get this all painted up here, and then we're going to go a little deeper. Okay. All right, now, the only way to really make these pop out is to build up the top as well, which is why I tried to go a little darker on the yellow. Really, I don't think I went dark enough even so. So um, let's see what we can do. I'm going to sample that yellow. Okay. And just take it into the white now. See how that doesn't even look white? I think that's... <sighs> I don't like how that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and cheat and I'm going to grab a serious change of yellow into the orange here. And we're going to go with a fat cap. Okay, once again, I'm okay with going over stuff and redoing things. And in fact, so much so. We're going to completely cover this with this dark tone this brown tone, which is, I think I did that over there too, to an extent. Um, like this color right here is kind of like that color right there. So we're gonna color this in. Not gonna color in the whole thing, just the majority of it. That's gonna give me a lot more to work with, with the yellow spectrum. And hopefully that means this is going to pop a lot more as I get closer to that. Swap back over. And all the mess that I've made here, I'm just going to cheat and uh, sample all these colors. Build up my pen, uh, build up my pressure, pen pressure. <laughs> Thinking digitally here. And I'm going to just try and build in some of the tones that I just released. And you can see, this is all overly intense, overly, uh, um, that's what I'm looking for. It's just so vibrant, too vibrant. This is the dull kind of yellow, you'd, that, 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 that just darker than um, mustard yellow. This is like aged, yeah, uh, aged mustard that's been sitting out for far too long, okay? It's like guacamole that's out for 30 minutes and starts turning that brown. <laughs> that's kind of what we got going on here. So I'm gonna try and shift this pretty quickly. I don't want it to stay that color at all. I want to very quickly start shifting into um, a brighter uh, orange to yellow tone. So this shouldn't stay that way. But I do want some of that in there. So it just gives me a little bit more to work with. Okay. To prove my point, let's go with a full extreme yellow and try and use the light source like we did before, right up here. Okay, I'm going to try and use the same light that I did there, over here. I did the same with the cheek here. Okay. And I don't think I did anything really on the eyes. And then I'm just going to take some white. And just dot it in there. See how intense that looks right now? It's it's too intense, but it's, it's right. So I'm just going to calm down on this. And I'm going to start feathering that into the final here. And we're going to blend into 
those highlights. thinks I should do a real lip instead of a black lip. Um, which would consist of... Maybe we'll try and do that, but I might regret it pretty quickly. It would consist of adding some... bit more intense white on the top of the lip here. Negating the black for now. I'll probably bring it back after a bit. Because these guys don't have lips per se, they just have a mouth. No one's designed a 3D lip on them except for the kissy face, <laughs> which would be a fun emoji in itself. Uh, so, that'd be a very fun emoji. Like I said, if you guys want to see a certain emoji, let me know. If you get a lot of people to vote kissy face, then I will definitely consider it. Yeah. intensify what I've done here by extending the lip over the other cheek kind of like this okay so just building that yeah just building that intensity up so it pops out over top the other one there we go by the way if you want to learn how to draw uh, I'm a caricature artist. I'm a cartoonist, uh, specifically uh, drawing like people, drawing you as a funny person. If you don't find yourself funny, then you might want to get a caricature drawn. So it gives, always gives you a good laugh. Um, you can stop by my other channel, Draw Too Much. Um, I don't do anything on there right now uh, because I've been very focused on this new passion of making videos here on this channel. But I have put over. I'm going to say about 200 videos teaching drawing techniques over on Draw Too Much. I've worked incredibly hard on that channel for over 10 years. And uh, there's a lot of content there that'll teach you everything you need to know about drawing caricatures and cartooning and uh, Sunday morning comics and the whole nine yards. So if you have a passion for drawing and you want to learn from me on how to do that, just go check out all the years of content that I've put over there. There is so much to enjoy um, and so much to learn. And uh, it's really great to see the people even five, ten years later are still being blessed from that content. So if that's something that you're looking for in your life, then go and check it out. Okay. Um, I'm going to tone back now on that. I'm going to calm down my... oh. Let's go back to my other brush here. And just start patting this in. Okay. And just start building up the shape of the lip so it starts to have some more form and structure to it. But I stopped working on that drawing channel after a while because I got incredibly burned out. I've thought about going back and making more content over there, but there isn't much more I have to teach. Um, you know, so far, anyway. Don't know what else I'll learn, but at this point, uh, there's every, every piece of my knowledge on drawing caricatures so far is over there on that channel. And I just wanted to move into another realm. I love tech. I love just looking into new passions. And so I decided instead of continuing to draw what I was feeling was a repetitive video over and over of content I wanted the opportunity to bring you guys something different 
and enjoy myself a little bit more by doing content here. So, that is what I did. That looks so cool. I like that one so much more than I like that one right now. I love that. Uh, the, the, um, this right here confuses me, whatever that is. So we're going to fix that right now. Um, let me grab this one. I'm going to build up on this a little. Now it just looks weird. <laughs> I'll figure it out. That's supposed to be the mouth right here. Kind of Simpsons style. And then that'll curve up this way and blend into the face. Okay, kind of like that. And I'll put a harder line there just to really try and dig that out of there. Yeah, it's better. Okay. I dig, I especially like the right hand side of the face, and I do like the point of the mouth that I've created there, and that tongue just looks ballistic. I do dig that. Um, and I like that because it's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, oh, didn't mean to duck. <laughs> because it's supposed to be wet. That vibrancy that I usually put in my artwork really brought that out and really intensified that. So I do like that. I'm so close to this right now that everything is blurry. I'm seeing all the individual pixels. And I am wearing my glasses. I do have my glasses on under here. Uh, but even so, it's really kind of hard to see when you're this close. And you gotta admit, the resolution of the Oculus, as great as it is, still is not quite, um, it's not quite smooth enough. And that's why you gotta step back and look at it. And even so, you can see the pixels and everything in doing that. But look at how cool that looks. I don't even know if I could paint like that on my iPad or on my tablet. Airbrushing. That's what... <laughs> I mean, that just looks so cool, man. That looks so cool. Anyway, um... Look at how crazy that looks. I love it. I love it. Wow, night and day. Night and day difference. How crazy is that? Let's um intensify that tongue up a little bit more. Thank 
The major difference of this in comparison to painting, say, on a canvas or on a digital tablet or something, is that you're floating in midair. There is no, there's no pressure sensitivity. There might be pressure on the nozzle, which honestly I have not tried. I've been pushing the no the, the button down on this thing all the way, and I can't tell if it make. Oh dear. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I can't tell if pushing down partially makes a difference. I just messed up. <laughs> Oops, and I just hit my fan in real life. That's funny. Um, oh, I did mess up. Oh, dear. Okay, I got some repair work to do now. No undo button. So let me just grab some of this. We're just going to quickly doctor in a few things here. I'm just going to grab that and re-intensify that a little bit. Um, part of me thinks it's actually kind of helpful what I did there, but we're going to clean it up anyway. Just in case. There we go. Yeah. 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 Look at that. I don't like the tongue on the right-hand side there. That, that just seems a little off, so we're going to quickly just go right in here. Let's try just barely pushing this down. Male person here? Is that what's going on? Zoe made a borf, which usually means that someone's here, probably delivering mail. She's my watchdog. See, now I'm going too much. Now I gotta go back over. My pressure is basically non existent. I'm not feeling like I'm getting any extra pressure out of the out of this thing here. Alright, I feel really good about that. Should we put some eyeballs on it and then maybe work on the, the drip coming off the tongue? And if I really wanted to spend my time on it, which honestly I don't, <laughs> I would actually make it drool off the tongue and drew the, do, draw the drool off the tongue. But I don't know if I'm ready to do that yet. I don't know if I'm that skilled just yet to pull that off. Uh, so I wish I could mask off this whole area, which they don't have that in this part of the game. Uh, but if they did, then I would be very interested in doing that. Uh, let's go ahead and put in our eyes. I am just going to do big, googly, crazy eyes. And uh, we're going to build up the pressure about halfway. And we're going to go with a standard. So I think I tilted this one way out. Kind of like this. Okay. Trying to make sure I don't put too much where it bleeds. Let me go with a uh, um, thin cap. It doesn't feel like black. It is black, but it doesn't feel like black. It doesn't look like black either. Let me sample from over here. Maybe that's just me. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to do another one right here. Okay. Oh dear. I feel like I almost spilled there. Like I almost dripped. There we go. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, let's give that eye some shape now. Um, I'm going to barely reach into the purple here. And go back to my... I'm trying to learn to do use this thing. I'm going to drop it all the way down. Go back to my feather duster. And just put a couple dots of purple on the top of both of these. 
can barely tell, but I'm okay with that. We're gonna go just a touch brighter. Okay, this is really gonna show here now. There we go. Step on back there. Yeah, now we're really starting to see it. Let me go back there. Let's go even a bit more. Okay, I feel like this is a bit too much, but... Yeah. It's a bit too much, but it could look cool. <laughs> it's really cool. Alright, let's put in some uh, fun highlights now. Like I did over there, we'll just select our... Uh, our white with our thin cap. Okay. Should I do the same thing that I did with him? I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I feel that. And I have those highlights wrong, but I'm rolling with it anyway. I think what I might do though is I do kind of like how intense those eyes look. And I feel like I could take it a bit further. So what I think I'm going to do... kind of wish I'd thought of doing this before doing this. But we're going to go um, back to purple. I want to add some... See, look at that. that. That color chart, I can't change that darker. See, and that's just... Here we go. So I want it in the gray just slightly. And I also need my feather duster and uh oh, just messed that up pretty bad. Um let's see, what do we got for purple? And it's gotta be a very specific purple in my book. Um Okay. Uh let's see, even darker. Yeah, back to that. Oh, oh, this one. This one, maybe. But, oh gosh, I'd hate to do that wrong. Here we go. That's really intense. That might be a bit too intense. Because my theory is, grabbing the black now, uh, sampling that black, and then making sure that my pressure is as low as possible. I was going to kind of dig out that side and just leave that little edge in there. Just see what that looks like. Yeah, big difference. That's cool. I don't feel like it's showing up in the little eye so well, so let me... I'm barely holding this... Ah. Messed up. That could work, though. Yeah, that works. That works. What do you think, guys? That's pretty awesome! There's more cleanup that could be done around the outside and stuff, but I have other fish to fry. Let's go ahead now and uh, take a look. How do we duck again? Oh. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. Rewind selector.
with nothing to do. You're like, well, I gotta kill some time before I do whatever I'm gonna do that I've traveled to. Well, why not enjoy painting the... Oh, I saw... Wow, that actually looks really cool. Wow. I didn't even realize I was doing that, but <laughs> it looks like a real water drop. <laughs> All right, people. This one's worth signing and calling it a day. Let's sign it up here. Twenty. Twenty-one. And if you like this and leave uh, some positive comments and give me another emoji, I'll come back and would not wait another year to do our next one. Too cool. Guys, that's going to do it for me right here on Legacy Studio. Keep it crispy, first Tim 412. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this little uh, drawing experience. It's been a while since I played this game, and uh, I got to tell you, that that's just so much fun. It just brings so much inspiration back. You know, you're sitting there, you're just going, wow, I feel like I just need to do something instead of just playing video games. Uh, you know, it, it, the normal video games. What if I play VR? And you go through all this stuff in your head on how you're going to set this all up and you hit record and you start talking to mumbling and something like this happens. I mean, that is just so much fun. I love that final piece. Especially that it's not just an obvious outline. It's actually a structured character. That's just so cool. Alright. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you want to see early access to all my videos, please consider uh, going and becoming an early access member. We also call you a historian here on the channel. All you got to do is hit the join button. You'll see a couple tiers. I have a giveaway, a very odd giveaway that I'm doing for some uh, for a historian who wants it. Uh, I'm giving away a play playing board of another game. It won't make any sense to you if you're not a if you're not in the world of Riven and Cyan and all those things. You won't care, but I am doing a giveaway of sorts. And if you don't like the giveaway and you are the winner, uh, I have a watch that I'm also going to be giving away. Uh, and it's just a fun watch. A nice big brown one that, uh, that looks pretty cool. So, doing a giveaway, take part in it. you got to become a historian and support the channel uh, to, do, to be entered for it. But still, check out the merch store as well. I've got a bunch of cool designs uh, waiting for you in there. That's going to do it for this one, people. I'm signing out. So let's get out of here. That was way too much fun. <laughs>